Greetings, fellow Dryads. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to episode 37 of the Keepers of the Gwarling Grove, which originally aired live on Twitch. Hmm. Who's vomiting? Kadath? Ah, oh, goat worm sucks, man. All right, so he's digging a gold ore for the reliquary. And Bernona should be home soon with that relic. Uh, we are... I'll hit research command. We're getting a little bit of progress as far as uh, research goes. Boar started a social fight with Codsworth. We went in to start a fight with the prisoner. What, how dumb are you? And before you answer that, I already know it's extraordinary amounts of stupidity. Uh, Aoife, I would like you to research over construct. Yeah, what'd you think would happen? I'm not helping you here. You started a fight. You went into the prison and started a fight with the prisoner. I like how it says mental state social fighting. It's like, no, it isn't. Mental state cowardice, peeing your pants. Yep. We all saw it. We all know it. And Boar's like, uh-huh. <laughs> sure. Sure, dude. All right, so Gray and Aoife are helping to research. Another thing that would benefit the research is if we didn't research in a room full of vomit because vomit is, uh, slows down the research for, you know, reasons. All right, so yes, we will attempt to recruit. So Mr. Boer, I'm gonna reduce your resistance. Kadath, you really shouldn't have healed him. He didn't, doesn't deserve it. But we have uh, 98 gold ready to go to the reliquary. I'm gonna have uh, Eric go haul some over. Renona here is probably about to zone in. Here she is. And for your reward, you are going to get a thumb. Well, the whole arm, but thumb will be part of it. Isn't he already converted? Uh, no, he's not. Good call. I'm going to convert him first, and then I will recruit him. Uh, we will start a conversion ritual in four days when I'm able. Uh, Mara here will be able to do a regular old convert soon. So let's update the current project. Uh, build a uh, reliquary. Is that how you spell it? Yeah. Okay, cool. Build a reliquary. Seems fitting. We just spent the last multiple streams trying to obtain a relic. Building reliquary only makes sense. All right, my marine helmet is a in ta it's tattered now, so I'm gonna have to um, move out of it. But here, Brenona is with the Grawlins bond, an object of ideologist significance. Is that even a word? You're making things up. Um, but yes, this is one of our precious relics here. We have the Bond, the Seed Box, and the Arbor Collar. Any reason the stream's only in 720p? My guess is you have to restart the stream. I didn't do that. You probably just don't, uh, have it rebooted. Man, these gut worms are brutal. Alright, so there's the Bond. Doesn't really do much, just sits there. It's important to us, but just sits there. Uh, let me ditch the berries, and we are going to install the left arm. I'm gonna clean up the hospital dirt, hop in the bed, and have Oriana kick off the surgery.
Yes, build a reliquary. <laughs> I'm already doing that. Eric is helping to... Oh, you probably need some rest. It's helping to, to do that. Yep, I have all the gold and all the marble I need for one. A tablet. Bernona now has her arm. So if we take a look at the health of everybody, uh, Aoife here probably should get a brawling weapon again. Uh, I will give her... Originally, she had the, uh, the Breach Axe, but then she had a mental break where she smashed everything, and the Breach Axe's additional bonus damage was ridiculous. Um, actually, I'm going to give her a shotgun. With all of the brawling tribals that have shown up, uh, shotgun wouldn't be terrible. And then, I don't want Mara to build that. I'm actually not even sure who my top constructor is anymore that Talus... Oh, uh, no, Mara is the best constructor, so Mara... Uh, I lied. Do that. But before you do that, let's convert Boar. He was upset, but it worked. And we have visitors from the Kogzigo Kinship. You come and bearing gifts? Nope. Did the axe do something? Well, so the Breach Axe is designed to destroy stuff. And when you have a tantrum where you're trying to destroy stuff, the Breach Axe is a bit too strong. It, uh... It was a bit of a problem. All right, Ms. Oriana, I am going to lower your plant cut. I'm not actually sure what you would be good at. Maybe hunting? All right, let me, let me think about queuing up some hunting because I need leather for clothing. We are out of leather entirely, so... Uh, let's, uh, let's hunt my favorite way. Not very sporting, but my favorite way. Get everyone up here to just, uh, make some liquid deer. Is Aoife's mood improved? Not really. She's still over... She's still mourning, uh, Taliesin. The thing is, I guess I could also have, uh, Mara try to counsel her. What is her relationship? Oh, they have a very strong relationship, so that would be a really, really useful way to help her get over Taliesin. You two. Through the cave. Oh, Kadath, you two. Stupid bucks. Get the buck over here. Oh my god, they really are just booking it. Where are they going? Don't exit the map tile. <laughs> Draco, thanks for the gifted subs. And Animal Plague. Robs the... Dementia... Where are they going? I've never seen animals run so far. Ever. Like... What the heck? Now, unfortunately, Bernona, despite the fact that you are a relic hunter, you're also a rotted corpse hauler. You're woozy, so don't trip and fall and land in corpse bile. Gross. Yeah, you notice with the update, they run really far. Hey, they ran right into Bernona. Guess what, Bernona? Uh, we are going to help the hunters. Well, 
Bernona on her errand to uh, haul dead bodies managed to down more bucks than all of my other hunters. <laughs> so that's embarrassing. But eh, whatever. All right, these turrets here need repair and uh, rearming as probably a pretty high priority as well. I don't want Gray and Aoife to come off the research bench, so it's going to have to be someone else. Because as soon as Gray and Aoife... You know what? It's going to be Codsworth. Repair. Rearm. Repair. Rearm. 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 Repair. Rearm. He picked a fight with my prisoner, so he gets to do it. Uh, Crisis of Belief 4. Good. Good. Very good. He's going to be easy to recruit. Uh, Brennona, what is your priorities here? I am going to make you priority haul. And I'm going to micromanage you because having piles of rotted dead bodies right outside of our door um, might help to dissuade future 70-man raid parties, but it also makes me want to vomit. So we'll aim to clean that up. And Mara's back to building the reliquary. It takes a ton of work. Make Cos do it. He's a pacifist. Cosworth is also a a human uh, planting robot. So this is actually a terrible use of Cosworth's um, skills. But yeah, whatever. I'm pretty sure I told you to rearm all of these. All right, there we go. So we are all repaired and rearmed. Righteous. Now we do want a Grawl and Totem, and uh, that was something that uh, Brunona was working on until she was sent to go steal the relic. So that's uh, that's another thing I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do. Let's build the Grovel and Totem. Uh, but that's not going to take too much work time. You love how uh, pacifists get so much hate in the game? You know, I'm actually not hating on the pacifist. Ooh, that medicine is bad. Cosworth, get up. Go pick it up. He has a lot of uh, utility outside the fact that he won't enter combat. Okay, these guys are hanging around like they have something to trade, but they absolutely don't have anything to trade, so that's really strange. Hmm. Another part of me says, uh, this massive heat generating, uh, geothermal jenny. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add some vents here. Actually, I'm gonna add the vents, uh... I want to build this. I want to wall this thing in so it's not going to scorch me in the summers. Uh, but add vents so that I can have it add heat when I want it to add heat. So something like that. I don't like a choke point this tight, maybe, though. So let me, let me see about improving that. It's not, not perfect, but it'll have to do. Granite door... And I'll space these vents out for aesthetics. Not that it matters. And there. Get that all separated out. Another advantage to that is if there's ever a solar flare or something in the winter and it knocks my heaters out, I can close all these vents and stick people in this room and they will be uh, toasty is an understatement. They'll be very, very toasty. Why are you vomiting? Oh, still anesthesia? She's still high on having murdered people. And converted boar. He's now no longer certain about his, uh, yeah, perfect. And I gotta say, his little room here is absolute garbage. So... Now that he's converted, because it actually serves me to uh, to treat him poorly so that he converts because he doesn't like his life until, you know, it 
it helps or whatever. It's strange, I know. Uh, let's make his bedroom a little bit nicer now that he is uh, one of us. Yeah, mediocre prison cell. Codsworth, you haven't been doing a lot of farming for someone that is being told to do farming. All right, so Brunona is almost done uh, getting rid of the corpses that are close to the base. At this point, the other corpses, um, now let's get this one too. And this one as well. I think they are in high traffic areas and it serves me well to do that. Alright, let's uh let's turn them into mist. Brown corpse mist. It's good for the lungs. I've contacted Gwyneth Paltrow to try to sell it bottled on her goop site. Oddly it's healthier than half the stuff she sells, so. All right, their corpses are gone. Is the alpaca still alive? It is. Elsbit is alive and kicking. Right back here, hanging out. 100% wool growth too, so we'll be uh, sheared soon. All right, let's get these guys butchered for the plain leather. And I'm gonna get rid of the other corpse zones because I don't really care. We have a cache of, oh, what? That's ridiculous. All right, so there's an anti-grain warhead being stored uh, for reasons, and uh, someone told me about it. Sounds like a trap, but I like traps. Check forbidden, I missed one. I missed one, what, corpse? I know there's more corpses out here. I've no doubt about that, but I don't see any, I don't see any corpses too close to the base that would be, oh yeah, here's one that would be seen as too disturbing. All right, after we're done butchering uh, Bernona, let's get that last one. It's Trebo. So that's what happened to Trebo. And get my assault rifle back. All right, Bernona, I will let you take a brief break, uh, but then I'm going to have you do some art for me, I think. You are going to sculpt. Oh, oddly, people's demands for the totem are gone. I don't know why. Maybe because we got the bond, I'm not sure. But if you take a look at the needs here, uh, there is not like a, we've recovered our relic for like a, you know, I, I feel like there should be, but oh well. Okay, here's Codsworth being ridiculous. Someone hit a tree, I think. Uh, that might just be old. I think that's older. I've I've had trees hit. Not that recent, though. But it happens. Alright, Bernona, are you done with your art? You must be. Here is the totem. And I'll stick the totem here. I'm also going to Bernona finish up the uh, reliquary, because she's on Luciferium with a bonic arm. She's going to be a pretty fast constructor. Uh, and she is actually more skilled than Bernona. Okay. 
Okay, so reliquary. Uh, all that we're missing here is a campfire, but I am only going to make a campfire on demand because wood is uh, somewhat expensive. Taking a look at my... Up, oh, full maximum radius. Done. This one's about a week shy of full maximum radius. So if this is full maximum radius, yes, indeed, we have contiguous flagstone, except for right here. Oh, that's going to bother me so much. But I might not fix it until the wall is done. But it's looking good. It is looking good. Brain wiring is now done. So that's going to allow us to get uh, Jazz Conscious. So let's go make a Pain Stopper. So Pain Stopper is 20 steel, 4 components. No problem. Easily afforded. That's actually just, uh, that's honestly, I think, too cheap. Too inexpensive. Uh, build and destroy a Moisture Pump. Yeah, I could quick build and destroy one right there, yeah. Um, now that we don't have such a crazy bottleneck of steel, that's a more reasonable thing to do. So a conversion ritual kicked off in, um, oh, you know what? I don't even have anyone of a different ideology. Yeah, I forgot about that. Well, in terms of rituals here, I could try another Sky Lantern that would reveal an ancient complex. I could do a Growlin's Bond, which would, uh, it's a drum party, which might recruit someone. Or a Blight Burning for, uh, there's no advantage to Blight Burning. Or a Arbor Day. So, what ritual should we hold? Drum for recruit. Um, Arbor Day for a seed. Lanterns for a complex. And, yeah, between those three. We don't need the conversion one anymore. Another thing I'd like to do is to get some other uh, Guarulin trees queued up. Uh, and that will be done soon because we have Codsworth, who can obviously manage plants, and Eric, who can obviously manage plants, and both of them can have their own trees Need a Reacher's project? Uh, drug production. I think uh, the start of the stream proved that drug production is pretty handy. And then Codsworth, when you are not... Yeah, I'm going to have Cods clean be my maid. This base gets so filthy. It's one of the things I would change about RimWorld if I was the developer is reduce the filth rate because bases I mean, look look how filthy filthy everything is and I'm constantly cleaning. This isn't even I mean it gets more filthy here than it does even in real life. It's, it's like ridiculous. I might I might once I get more fire foam, I might employ uh, straw matting as a result. Straw matting helps to cut down filth and I could just straw mat like the everything if I need really needed to other than like bedrooms. All right, Jazz, we're coming. We're getting that uh, that pain stopper for you soon. Right, let's take a look at the clothing. Oh, none of them. I'm going to need to hunt some more. Let's try to find a pack of stuff nearby. Another thing I could do is I could pop open my rice or potato trap uh, to try to lure herbivores to me. But seeing that it's not quite full winter... My guess is uh, they won't take the bait. I'm also going to update the allowed zone. Yeah, we got everything there. Would it have helped to stone up the floor instead of have dirt? Uh, I could try that. I don't think it's really going to help out that much. But where I do have dirt, I will uh, I will floor up properly. 
You guys want a drum circle, so I'll kick off my campfire, get that built, so we get every benefit of the drum circle that we can. So if I take a look at the fertility, as you can see, very, very easy to spot where we have um, where we have soil instead of dirt. So I will fill it in as much as I can so that we don't track in dirt. Um, but for that, I'm going to need probably more marble. Um, what I, You know what I could do? I could... Uh, I'll just do fine marble tiles. I'm not going to go beyond fine. Uh, I'm not going to have it be the... Or, or regular, not fine, I should say. To try to reduce the the filth in the base. I don't care about inside of the... Um, inside of that, though. So, let's see. That's that. Here. Here. This is a lot of marble. All right. I think that's everywhere that needs because oh no there's stony soil under this oh, this is going to be annoying to figure out where the stony soil is smooth sandstone so there's stony soil here and here and that's it okay Oh, Kadeth. Please, machine. And Rob's died due to the plague. Oh, man. 99 immunity, 100 plague. Now, here's the thing. As sad as that is, this is a nine-year-old wolf with a neck gunshot wound, a missing eye, tail, and paw, and Alzheimer's. So, I wouldn't say it's tragic. Um, this dog lived hard. One hard, hard life. Um, I am going to start to have... Um, I'm going to start burying pets outside. And eventually, when I have a proper grove, which I intend to have... I'm going to have my pets celebrated in said grove. I just don't have a grove yet. And yeah, I'm, I'm not going to let him butchered for any reason. All right, assign contents, animal corpses, bury. Pain stopper's done. And jazz. is just ejected out of this bed so I can do the surgery in a surgery room. You are going to be given a pain stopper so that you can actually be useful for, you know, a brief period of time. Oriana, would you be so kind? Oh, and Codsworth cleaned, good. So as soon as this is uh, built here, because there's no power, yeah, there's no power. Another thing I need to do is uh, put stone walls in this entire facility rather than the steel walls that I had to settle on early on. You've never seen someone do all these tender rooms? Well, here's the thing. As a druid that is not allowed to cut down trees, uh, building expansive facilities is very difficult because there's only... You know, I, I can't basically expand everywhere I want. Uh, because of the rules of this series. So I've had to make a lot of um, um, compromises as to design uh, because of the restrictions of the series. Okay, I am not going to make any more lavish meals for now. Uh, but it would be good if Eric, you animal handled uh, your alpaca. I don't have any mech serum, no. So if we take here, this is uh, Taliesin. This is Adriel. Adriel actually is um, rotted. So he's never gonna be resurrected. As you can see, his body is nasty. Uh, Taliesin, Dragon is rotted as well. John Smith and Bob 
and Vera. So Vera and Taliesin are the only non-rotted, so they're the only ones that are uh, viable resurrection candidates. The problem with uh, resurrecting rotted corpses, the further you let them rot, the more health conditions they will have. So if you resurrect someone that is too far gone, they're likely to have um, blindness and psychosis and a whole lot of other like conditions like that, uh, which render them relatively worthless to recruit. Uh, resurrection psychosis is a terminal illness and you will eventually die from it after you go berserk and try to murder everyone around you. So if, uh, if you resurrect someone that is like really, really rotted, uh, forget about it. Why resurrect the dead? Well, why not? We are druids that believe in immortality. I think the why not is a stronger. I'm gonna research uh, Gojuice, and then after I research Gojuice, I will let you all pick what to research thereafter. The resurrection blindness can be cured with bionic eyes, but the resurrection psychosis can only be cured with resurrection mech serum or dying again and getting resurrected again, uh, which is extraordinarily expensive. So not a route that we're likely to go. All right, I'm getting Mara to kick off the drum circle. And let's start that now. I promised it for you. Jazz is now on her feet uh, because she got uh, shoved a pain stopper in and now she's no longer in pain. Uh, meaning that she, despite being a wimp, that has been fixed. All right. It's an extremely impressive grove. And it is a fun Gravelin's Bond, a plus eight. Swank. Oh, could we not allow the components to deteriorate into nothing? Thank you. What table of a building in the shrine? It is a reliquary. A, an object that holds a relic. Not a table. Hey, Yoda. Uh, so here's a thought. Uh, I don't know if Zack the Terror is here. Let me try to act them. Oh, yeah, you are here. Hey, so, Zank, uh, do you want a drill arm and a plant arm? Because two plant arms, there's definitely diminishing returns. Um, but we have a drill hand here that we could add. Ha! Huh, Sister of Boar, the Berserker, is coming in. He says, sure. And that allows me to put a plant arm in someone like, um, Oriana instead. To spread around the, uh, the efficiencies. What is a relic? Is it something useful? No, it is a tablet. I do have an arbor collar, which is a uh, Eltec staff that's useful, but I don't. I didn't have any other weapons that are like, uh, quote unquote, useful. So, oh, I missed a hydrate. Uh, cheers. Uh, does planting the garland tree near this thing? Uh, cause malice? Mm, sort of. You don't want the Gwarolin moss to overtake the anima tree uh, because it will prevent anima grass. But uh, it's actually something I'm planning on doing. I'm planning on putting Gwarolin trees around the anima tree once I'm done. Um, to treat this as like the grove and have it be beautiful. One of the advantages of the moss here, if we take a look at the beauty overlay, as you can see, it is incredibly beautiful. It's a, that's a nines. Uh, to put that in perspective, um, smooth stone is two. Uh, the fine flooring is fours. So moss is incredibly beautiful to be around. And one of the advantages, if I put trees around the anima tree, uh, we would have the bonus of that moss, um, you know, sort of everywhere. And that's something I wanted to do, and I'm planning on doing. 
uh, once we have the planters accordingly. So I'm actually going to plan that out now. Uh, looks like I'm going to have to drain some of the swamp, but I'm planning on putting um, trees in these corners here, all around the anima tree, and I'll have to drain this area. Uh, so if I'm draining this area, let me figure out where, I think, here maybe, seven, yep, this will do. So let me put a moisture pump platform there. That was always my plan, mind you. Um, but now that you ask, I might as well share. And this farm here is not going to be a gather spot or a uh, refuel. Okay. So let's try to get the Royal Quarry up, and then I'll have you all pulled. We did a drum circle, and it didn't yield us uh, any new recruits. Uh, but it was a fun party, and that will help. We could also do an Arbor Day. Um, that would be uh, another fun thing for us to do. Boar. Yes, you are an MPM. Good. Okay. We are... Breaking. So you're breaking because of your dead husband. I'm going to try to counsel you. So counsel here, as I haven't really mentioned it before, I'll read it. Offer counsel to a person to cancel the effect of a sad memory. The chance of success depends on the speaker's social skills and the relationship with the listener. Uh, so this is Mara talking to Aoife. And as you can see, uh, they are best friends. Right? 8794. So I believe this counseling should be highly, highly effective. And if we mouse over here, it's positive chance is 58% due to Mara's social skill and 126% chance due to Aoife's opinion of Mara. And boom, it worked. Mara successfully counseled Aoife, canceling out the mood impact of negative 20. So then if we take a look at the moods, counseled by Mara, 18 days plus 20. That is massive, M massive. Um, and that totally count counteracts the my husband Taylison died so, uh, huge, huge benefit to counseling from your spiritual uh, guide. Just, my God. Uh, would it be worth putting one or two straws outside the door? Um, no, that you're you're what you're thinking of is the. Um, I mean, we could try that, but what you're thinking of is the doormat mod, which works a bit differently than the way the game is. Gray's Psychic Suppressor. Uh, no. I'm not going to be psychically suppressed. Just go away. Oh, and we have a trade out here. Ooh, good. Yes, let's sell our garbage tribal weapons that we have now tons of because we got attacked by garbage tribals. And we'll also sell. I like to keep some frag grenades, or some uh, like a frag grenade, a EMP grenade, a Molotov, like one of each. But I don't need more than that. And done. Yeah, we'll we'll see if it limits filth. The way filth works is you track in filth from where you were last. Uh, so I think. The way that straw matting might be helpful to limit filth is if there was a much larger radius around the doorways, like this, like even wider, so that the dirt being tracked in by our people gets tracked to the straw matting. But just a just a few cells like this is probably not going to be that effective. Um, the way filth works is it's um it's sort of a calculation of where you've been to where you're going. So the chance of you having regular dirt filth if your entire base is not dirt, is very low. Which is why I am uh, starting to tile up everything that I can. Although it looks like I'm just about out of marble, so let me continue my marble cut. Um, so if we, if we 
added a significant amount of straw matting around the doors. It might cut down, oh, it rotted as we butchered it. It might cut down on some of the uh, the filth, but uh, but not as much as uh, tiling up everything inside the base so that when we walk on the dirty parts of our base, it doesn't track in additional filth. I think that is causing the, um, the majority of the filth, not, uh, not anything else, not any other factors. Yeah, if you if you have fungal gravel in a mountain fort, that will also track in filth. So if you had fungal gravel, let me um, let me try to demo it real quick. Like let's say, um, I'll do it with plants. So let's say you had like a tunnel full of fungal gravel, and then you had the entrance to the rest of your base. If you put if you put um, if you put your straw matting like this around the entrance to the fungal gravel, you'll you'll cut down most of the filth because the filth that is being tracked on people's feet and shoes will hit the straw matting. And the way straw matting works in RimWorld, it's um it's really not balanced at all. Straw matting deletes, not even negates, deletes nine tenths of the filth that, that are is generated on it. So nine tenths of the filth being tracked in from dirt just goes poof like it never existed. Pretty strong stuff. Pretty strong stuff. So another thing that I could do is in the doorways, in my airlock doorways, I can add straw matting, which should help to delete some filth. Um, and then I'll need uh, to airlock this up at some point, meaning that this styling station has to move somewhere. I don't, I don't know. Let's put it uh, here for now. I'm lazy, so I'm gonna move my dies the honestly more effortful way. Oops, that didn't work. Like I said, the more effortful way. Effortfully lazy. There we are. All right, the reliquary is almost done. Bernona's not yet crazy as a result. Is straw matting like the, uh, the doormat mod? Yeah, a little bit as a result. Yeah, they're pretty similar. Pretty powerful stuff. Okay, there's the reliquary. And Bernona, you got the relic, so let's install the reliquary, uh, the relic into the reliquary yourself. Right, buddy? Trisma and Skygator. Thanks for the follows, by the way. There it goes. Mood bonus. For rituals in the room, three. All rituals in this room now have a benefit mood bonus, which is huge. And that is why you get reliquaries. Because now our ritual room is much better. Much, much better. I'm uh, also going to redesign it a bit. So, current project. Make the grove nicer. You like how Yoda's always chill? Yeah, he's a very chill dog. Hey, buddy. Hey, dude. What up, guy? What up, my dude? prison room with the double bed interesting um that was just the empty bed that's yeah it was just the empty bed that i had jazz you should probably go back to having a gun now that your pain stopped man look at the steel that we've been getting uh kadath i am going to tell you to smith over oh it's already done 
So you're not making advanced components probably due to the lack of plasteel, I'd imagine. Yeah. Um, and you're not making clothing due to a lack of fabrics and cloths. And I really can't fix either of that. Tattered apparel would be Aoife, who has a broad wrap that she needs to ditch. And Bernona, who is the marine armor that she needs to ditch. So we'll get rid of that. Uh, we could definitely make another broad ramp. And I'm going to make it out of alpaca wool. That will keep her warmer in the winter. Um, we also have a bio sculptor pod, which I wouldn't mind bio sculpting. So I'm going to put it, I'm going to load it full of meat. And... I want to try to hunt, so where is there a pack of... Oh, man, there are no animals out here. There is just no animals. So, what about the world map? There is the hunting campsite for 11 hours. That's not going to be helpful. It's going to be gone. Um, we could try trading with the Kazeo kinship for, for meat. Especially when the ambient temperatures gets a little bit colder and the meat won't spoil uh, as we travel. But there really isn't any... Uh, there aren't... Yeah, there's not really animals out there anymore. So, let's go ahead and switch over to rice fully, so that we can feed ourselves a little bit better. And here is Aoife's broad rat. It's actually not too bright in here. I do have a lot of lighting, but it's uh, pretty ambient and diffuse lighting, so it's uh, a little bit easier on the eyes. I'm very photosensitive myself, so if it was... Uh, if it was overly bright, I wouldn't be able to stand it either. All right. And this hay grass is ready to harvest, which will help with our uh, designed doormats. So let me harvest this hay grass before the cold kills it. Hey, buddy. They want you to have a treat. What do you think? All right, life seems a little bit calmer now, doesn't it? We are getting the marble tiles installed. Ooh, a lot of them. We're getting some beer brewed. Cheers, I'm hydrating. Do I even have... Oh, yeah, I do have fermenting barrels. All right, one thing I wanted to do is a... Uh, is change this to be one of my patented airlocks. My tribal airlock. I'll do that. This is a weird airlock, but it will... It's fine. These aren't doors I use often. Elsbit, uh, yeah, I guess you're fine. The ranch here allows you to go inside. There is not a warm part, but what is your temperature tolerance? Negative four. It might be worth me, um, it might be worth me trying to set up a barn at some point, uh, but I, I think Elsbit will be all right. Will be not too cold. So I'm gonna set up straw matting. I'll set up straw matting like this. Uh, very giving it uh, like the maximum chance to absorb dirt. And Bernona, I'm going to have you help with these graves and move the corpses. Now these are in the way. One of the benefits of um, being evil in your ideology is that you can have uh, corpses not be ugly anymore. So, uh, patriotic teeth, what about you? Corpses don't care. Yep. 
due to cannibalism. Very powerful tool. That's for sure. A room full of cold bodies. Yes. Well, we had a wolf and it was eating the bodies for sustenance, but then the wolf died. So a new research project. We could do skin hardening. Uh, we'd probably want to offset skin hardening with some flesh shaping so that people didn't get really ugly. Uh, molecular analysis would be a fine one. Uranium slug. Compact weaponry. And fire foam. All right, put the timer up, your vote. I did include long range this time. I suppose I could have, ooh. All right, Bernona, let's get rid of those corpses. So I think Eric just saw some of them. Storage, none. Looking nicer and nicer. I will also likely want uh, a door here to cut the rooms apart a bit. Doesn't need to be that tough, but I'll start using uh, marble. T 21 grenades salute to the fallen. Yep. More or less. Hi, Tusk. What's up, girl? Hey, puppy. Alright. Is there any other animals? No. There were, I don't know what happened to all the herds that were here. Alright, for now, I'm just going to flick these uh, deep drills off. I feel like I have plenty of resources. So here is the straw matting. Uh, keep in mind, it is outrageously flammable. And we are redesigning our airlocks a bit. And we'll see if this helps cut down uh, some of the problems that we've been having. Alright, so pet hauling... Uh, I will allow to haul around there. Let's update the pet hauling zone. And you all say fire foam. Next research. It's almost done. So that shouldn't be that hard. And pets have been very helpful in hauling a lot of stuff. I have to uh, make this wall contiguous now. Um... Probably smoothing it out and all that. Let's see where they're all allowed to go. Alright, so this here was going to be a moisture pump. It's obviously going to violate some proximities for the, uh, the anima tree. Um, but eventually it will benefit the anima tree, so who cares. Upset animatry now for a much happier animatry later is a win as far as I'm concerned. Uh, this one's fully expanded. And then we're going to want... Um, maybe a little... Uh, I'll put a moisture pump there. Fix that problem. And we should see a dramatic reduction in filth now that we have gotten most of the floors. We don't traverse here very often, so that shouldn't be that big of a deal. And cargo pods. Randy being nice. Uh-oh. I don't like when Randy's nice. 
Geothermal heating looks good. Yeah. Yeah, why why pay for heating bill? Just use the steam. Fire foam's done. All right, new pole. While we start on that, I am going to... I'll just put uh, Crypto Sleeps while we wait. Another thing that I'm going to have to manage is uh, the Gowerlin trees can't be planted next to other trees. So these spots here that have uh, trees where I want to plant the trees eventually are going to be a little tricky. If, if I select these seeds, you'll see what I'm talking about. I can plant here, right? Obviously, I can't plant here because it's tree adjacent. So some of these spots are uh, impossible to plant until the plant there dies off. My uh, researchers research so fast, they can't even keep up. Here, I'm gonna even make it worse. I just hit uh, research command. We're tribals also, so it's crazy that we're researching this quick, but that's just the power of ideology. We're bringing in all these urns and stuff that we took from the, the raid. Um, I guess we're hauling them, which is weird because I really want to break them down. And yeah, the, the filth rate in the base, I would say, is already pretty noticeably lower. So that was a, some, some really good calls there. A mix of flooring everything up and um, putting the filth stopping uh, straw matting where appropriate. Another thing that you could do is right over where you have um, the straw matting. Now, keep in mind, straw matting is insanely flammable, so it's not a great idea for flammability reasons, but you could remove the roof over where it is and then have the rain help to wash away whatever filth gets built up on the matting. Uh, but I'm not doing that due to its flammability. Yeah, we could also modify Codsworth. Uh, let's see, what is your sleep needs? You're fully rested, so we're gonna do a right arm drill arm. Bioshock-esque. And you all say long range mineral is gonna be the next research. Consider it done. So then the other field hand, we'll go to Immortal Magic. Immortal Magic, are you here? Yeah, you are. Do you want a field hand? Now, if we do give a field hand to Immortal Magic, he also has a Bionic Leg to offset the movement speed penalties of the field hand. Codsworth is due for Bionic Legs as well. Um, but if we take a look at our guys, as you can see, every single one of them now, except for Gray here, is um, has Bionic Parts. So that's, uh, that is a huge boon. Um, that will allow us to move faster and um, the transhumanist desires will be fulfilled. So those are always really good. All right, Bob and John Smith are going to be interned in a different location. So I'm going to be moving where their, uh, their crypts are, putting them outside. And then my humans are gonna stay in here, uh, even the rotted ones, Dragon and uh, Adriel. Unfortunately, they rotted, and that's a result of uh, solar flares over the course of time. Mortal Magic says yes. All right. Do you field hand, right hand, with the Glitter World. Uh, not you, Kadath. Kadath's like, but why? I want to play Doctor. No, Kadath, you're my butcher that uh, plays doctor with the um, prisoners. You're the practice doc. It's a bit different. Oh. Going to all this trouble to try clean up the base and uh, hear Jazz is vomiting everywhere. Thanks, Scott Worms. 
All right, so Codsworth now has drill and field uh, because, you know, burning passion mining. You can resmec animals. Yes, it is possible. All right. I once Eric regains consciousness, I'm going to give a little bit of a leader speech now that we have the reliquary um, captured. That is a momentous occasion as far as I'm concerned, and I would like to celebrate it as such. Thank you for tuning in to the Keepers of the Guarlin Grove, which originally aired live on Twitch July 30th, playing Ideology version 1.3.3076. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below, but keep in mind that the series has since ended, so incorporating viewer feedback is now impossible. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Radamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers upcoming streams. It also has a link to Discord where you can sign up for announcements or just a chat about the content. Thank you so very much for watching. I will catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, everybody.